everyone, it's Jesse from Bear Flower Farm. Today, I'm gonna talk about a very underrated, unsexy topic, but a very necessary topic, which is buckets, and specifically these rectangular buckets called Proconas. So I typically focus videos on the business side of things, and believe it or not, this is very much, in my view, a business-oriented video. So I would say that this video is for a grower who is a little bit past that beginner stage where they find themselves frequently transporting a lot of blooms to something like a market, trying to uh, put stuff into a car like an SUV, or even trying to fit stuff into a cooler, especially like a refrigerator. So so I don't have a nice walk-in cooler. I currently have a normal refrigerator that's a top bottom setup. And so I use the bottom for my flowers, the top for some frozen foods uh, that we eat at home. And then I have a chest freezer that's going to eventually be converted into a uh, regular cooler for my flowers too. And that right now is housing some of our food that we're gonna work through and then it'll be converted. But the reason why I think this is really important is because when you use circular buckets, they don't necessarily always maximize the space that you have. So refrigerator is a rectangular type of footprint. Your SUV is more rectangular than it is circular. So all of this contributes to, if you start running out of space, either in your fridge or even in your car, could you increase your capacity to hold more stems by switching to something like a rectangular bucket and really spend maybe like 20 to $50 on buckets versus upgrading or buying an entire new uh, fridge or cooler. So months ago, if you follow me on Instagram, here's my handle. I would encourage you to follow me because I do have daily updates on what's going on outside. And I did share some of this stuff on my Instagram, but I also had a in-depth article on my Patreon. So this is probably also a time to let you know that I do have a Patreon if you're interested. So my Patreon normally has articles that accompany certain YouTube videos. So when I do flower farming science classes, like with pest management, or when I do certain and things like with overwintering and putting prices on things that I paid for and what I sell them for, that all goes into more in-depth blog posts on Patreon. And so if I've ever helped you or you want to see more details behind some of these videos, uh, the link is below and also shown, shown here and it's $5 a month. So it's something to support me producing these videos as well as getting uh, locked or gated content that you normally wouldn't be able to see. So anyway, I was saying that a while ago I posted on my Instagram, and I think this is around like right before Valentine's Day. I have never paid for a bucket up until these Procono buckets. And I would go to my local supermarket. So Trader Joe's, Aldi's on the East Coast in the US, they typically throw their buckets away, which is kind of crazy to me. So they have single use circular buckets, which are really, really great for that bootstrapping phase. I would encourage anyone who's beginning to grow flowers, who hasn't sold any flowers to go that route. Don't pay for buckets, just go to the grocery store and ask for buckets that they're gonna throw away because they will work for you for a long time. So I would get buckets that way. And the reason why I started upgrading is because at our co-op, uh, there was a grower who asked all of us, hey, do you want to come together collectively to buy buckets so we can save on shipping? And I'm thinking about ordering these Procona buckets. And that's how I started thinking about, okay, I'm running out of space in my fridge, especially, and, those circular buckets are not great for my lilies, which are very top heavy. Maybe I should invest in this. And this is like how this video really even came about. So lilies are, you know, you really shouldn't be putting them into those grocery store buckets. They work a lot better in like five gallon buckets, but even then in a five gallon bucket, those are circular. So they were not maximizing the space in my fridge. And you'll see that a little bit later. The other thing is because those grocery store buckets are single use, they're also very cheaply made. So they have a tendency to crack. They have a tendency to spill water. So I got to the point where either there were enough buckets cracking or just falling over or just mysteriously having a leak that the time I was using to spend to clean up those buckets could have paid for a couple of Procona buckets. So that's what made, made me take the leap 
So let me show you just the transformation in the fridge in terms of how much additional space I gained from using rectangular buckets. And then we're gonna come back and talk about how much these cost, where I got them from, and some other stuff. So this is my current setup, or was my current setup. Not the best way of storing lilies because these come off to the side, the door sometimes hits them. Like you can see this one got a little bit mangled. So we are going to see how many more lilies I can fit into the fridge by being more efficient with the bucket and specifically using the procanas, which are rectangular shaped. So here is the end result. This is two procanas in here. One is the bigger one and one is the smaller one. I still have so much room and room in the back too. I even added extra stems. So just from a surface area perspective, this is clearly bigger than the round five gallon bucket. And so therefore it holds more. And then in the back, I'm able to utilize um, the, the smaller Procana and it fits very well nested in there. So I just increased the amount of stems I could put into the fridge by investing basically 20 bucks into buckets, we'll call it. I forgot to mention, Eric will be happy because I even fit the beer in here. So voila, and then obviously still got some stuff on the side that doesn't emit ethylene. So this fridge is being maximized. It's a couple of days later, I have some more lilies that I harvested. There's actually some over here, which will eventually go into the fridge. But let me show you what it looks like when it's, I would say this is like 80, 90% at capacity. I could probably put some more in here. So here's a bouquet that someone's gonna pick up. I put this over here just because this part drips a little bit down and lilies are very sensitive to the cold water. So um, they might get bruised if I don't put that on there, but you know, there's still definitely enough room to put more stems in here. You can see all of this is more full. So I'm definitely able to cram way more lilies in here. And I just realized my husband crammed more food in here too. So it makes me feel better about the fridge because look, you're running it. it, it it's using a certain amount of energy and you wanna make sure you can get the most out of it. So hopefully that visual was really helpful for you. Uh, the other thing is because I am storing lilies right now, I only fit two buckets, but if you had more straight stems, uh, things that don't necessarily have branching types of blooms, you could hypothetically uh, put in three buckets as shown over here into a normal top bottom type of fridge setup. So, you know, that increase in space is huge for me because it means that I'm not rushing to try to move inventory for those lilies and I have basically better product to give to florists when they do want those lilies. Now, the other benefit that you could probably surmise from just looking at how the fridge looked is that when I transport blooms in my car, they are less likely to be sp like sprayed all over. So if I'm transferring bouquets, mixed bunches, in a circular bucket, although you can cramp quite a bit, they end up like just, it feels like they're going all over. You're trying to play Tetris with those buckets. With this, you can easily fit three of them um, width wise in your SUV and then have more in front. And it just makes for such a cleaner and more organized experience of transporting blooms. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is potentially getting the, um, I, it, it's like a perimeter cover. It's, it's a piece of plastic and that allows for this to basically be a little bit higher so that if you have really, really tall stems, they're also not going to flop all over even if they're wrapped. And as I mentioned before, you can even get a cover and that cover allows you to stack buckets on top of each other, assuming that your blooms are low enough to fit within this height. All right, let's talk about dimensions, where I got this from and cost. So from a dimensions perspective, uh, there's a bunch of different types of Proconos out there. This is the Valencia, this is the Florida. Within the Valencia and the Florida, there's also different sizes. So this is a 35 millimeter, which is roughly about 14 inches. And this is 25 centimeters, which is roughly 10 inches. Now this bucket is a little bit shorter than what I expected, but great for things like dahlias, for short tulips. Um, you know, like sometimes like when you just put short stems into a taller bucket, they end up floating all around. So this is good to have just a few of, but I would really 
put my money in here if you could only put it in one place because this holds a lot. I mean, just think about the 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 footage of a circular bucket and look at how much this is compared to that and you know i would estimate you're getting at least 25 to 30 percent more of real estate in this kind of bucket so our co-op came together as a group and bought these buckets from a place called pagter and they're online so you can order from them the issue is obviously shipping so for shipping there are four growers um including the co-op who also invested in buckets collectively uh, we bought a ton of buckets and the shipping came out to $60 a person. So I bought 15 bu buckets and the shipping was split uh, four ways equally. So technically the shipping could have been less, but it added about $4 extra per bucket. So each bucket came out to about $10. These buckets range anywhere from like $5 30 cents to about like six dollars 75 cents something like that so the buckets themselves are not necessarily expensive it's the shipping that's going to get you so if the shipping feels too prohibitive maybe you want to team up with another grower in your area to see if you can lower that kind of shipping cost packed her is not the only place that sells these other places also sell them too um, i do want to say that if you want circular buckets and you want more sturdier sturdier but circular buckets that aren't going to crack you can go to a place like johnny's and johnny's will ship buckets by the 25 so a box can max uh, the max a box that they will ship out is 25 units and they usually um are a lot better quality for just buckets to have in the long term but to me you know if you're going to use circular bucket buckets and you're on a budget definitely go to the grocery store so this was a quick video but to wrap up if you think about just using the space that you currently have and maximizing that space to add additional stems you're also maximizing the amount of money you pay for energy to cool that refrigerator you're like in a car obviously it costs the same amount of money gas wise for you to take 10 stems versus 100 stems so if you feel like you're constrained at capacity and you're only looking for something like a 20 to 30 percent increase Going first, the bucket route might be a more cost-effective way than getting a van or trying to get like a walk-in cooler, right? So these are the little things that I think that we can do as we move in between that beginner grower phase to that middle grower phase as we do more volume without feeling like we really need to sacrifice a lot from our wallets. So let me know if you have had a great experience with Procona buckets, um, where you buy them from. If it's not from Pagder, leave that in the comments below because that'd be helpful for other folks who are viewing and I will see you in the next video.